Kids get to get through with uh, Endgame taking down Parabellum. They beat them two to one, and LRV taking them W7M to uh, two to zero overall. Um, and then, oh, and then they, they beat out LRV Massa, and then they qualified with a second running through. So overall, this one going to be very, very close to see. You know, with you've got two different stories here. Endgame made it through that first open qualifier. Uh, LRV making it through the second open qualifier. It's a fun score. We are underway. Endgame, of course, starting on that CT side. LRV on the T side. For Endgame's first ever game this season. Oh, that's gonna be exciting. So, like, so far, it's uh, nothing really is happening. They're just like gathering some information and grouping here towards in front of uh, lobby and ramp. Now, we have one player outside trying to gather some information here, but they're not really aware of uh, Loli Tans being outside, and she just got spotted. Yeah, bit of information towards our side, but a Ute will be dropping towards the A side. They're gonna pop flash out. Lovely's gonna be able to step up for one. That shot. Julie's come out. Quick trades. It's messy, but it's all going in favor of M Game as they will find the first round pretty comfortably on that CT side with three remaining alive. It's a huge start. And no bomb plant either for LRV. Needs no money. Um, yep, that, uh, that is unfortunate. A bomb plant is always uh, the minimum you should, should try to achieve in a pistol. So they're going to go for uh, full eco, I assume. And uh, it was pretty smooth by Endgame, honestly. I think they had two casualties, didn't they? Mm. So uh, pretty good. Uh, some of them could like just keep their cables as well. And now we have like a few MPs to yeah, gather some money, you know, like uh, MP kills, always, always a good, uh, always a good decision to get like to buy the MP and get some MP kills. For sure. To get like the extra man money, especially if you're on the CT side. And now we have already heavily pressured towards ramp and they're going to the ramp explode here right now. Oh, That's it's a easy. beautiful crossfire. <laughs> that was, yeah, that was easy. It's the standard I mean, play, isn't it? Pop flashing yeah. towards Ram, trying to see if you can get a little bit of space. Just like see if you can overwhelm someone there, but you've got a double setup. That's a very good read, I've got to say, for Endgame as well. They yeah. set up expecting that sort of play. Exactly. I mean, that's like they can't do a lot of things. Like they know they're they're gonna be like uh, on a full eco. They cannot like really invest into utility. So uh, outside is not an option because you can't really go outside with like a few without like a few smokes or flashes. And yeah, it was a perfect setup. But now we have like the first buy here by LRV, and uh, they're putting already some pressure towards outside. Sofia already spotted someone, so there's a call that there's outside for pressure. And we have the first entry by Bunny Azul. And maybe we'll trade out back to a four versus four. Smokes towards our side, space to work with. It's LRV are oh, going to recollect the bomb, but I think potentially Nami might have heard that. Bomb collected. Looks like it wants to join forces back towards our side. Red crate. Two players ready and waiting. Already one cross down towards Secrets. Tata will be tested momentarily. Fama pulled out. Looking to find the first dropped out. Nice shot coming through from early tens. And now the space to work with. The bomb plant towards B could be on the cards here. Yeah, that's a good go here. They already have so much space. They mollied uh, one side of ramp, so they can gather so much information now and take good uh, post-plant positions, which is very good. It's going to be a hard retake. I don't even know if I would go for it. If they can get an early entry, they can try. Otherwise, uh, maybe it's even better to save the, the weapons because LRV, are, LRV, they're positioned so well, but we ha actually have a nade kill here by Naomi and uh, another kill on the tees, but it's a 1v3, pretty much impossible. Yeah, and will be dropped off as well. They're nice and relatively comfortable, I gotta say, from LRV. Picking up their first round on the T side, starting to get just a little bit of form to work with. The long game here on towards Nuke. The T side of Nuke can be a bit of a cruel mission. It's very difficult to really get under your control. So with LRV, it's about finding consistency in those sort of rounds. The rounds where you're expected to win, essentially. We've got them coming against the bonus buy of Endgame. They should be walking away, believe it, and they do. And most importantly, it's not too expensive as well. Only the two kills coming through are all too yeah. bad. But now, for Endgame, they've gone for a little bit of a low buy in towards round number four. Potentially, normally you go for a bit of a hefty investment here, but they can opt just to play it slow. Yeah, they're playing it like safe and they're playing like a long, uh, like long run game. They don't want like to mm. instantly heavily invest. They know that they have a few AKs, so maybe it's even better to just like try and save, especially save for an op. Uh, maybe they can even like go for double op setup because they have the money for it. They could like play one off uh, on the rotator position and one on ramp. So let's see what they're gonna do. Uh, so we have already like a lot of damage here. On the first player, into another entry, bomb plant going down. It's gonna go down pretty smooth. But Naomi actually managed to get a kill through the wall. 
Oh, I and shot. another one. Okay. Okay, Naomi. What a nice pick's coming through here. Funny as well, he step up to bring things level. But in this sort of situation, with the pistols versus the rifles, you should be walking away with a pretty clean round. It's already been made a little bit expensive. Up on towards the bomb. Big swing. Mario will find one. A quick trade coming through as Naomi is still on fire. On for a 4K. But we dropped out by Lulu 4K. Speaking of. Two all, we're all tied square, but that got a little bit close. Naomi made a good attempt there. Yeah, it was a nice try. Uh, I think in the end, uh, like I, th I think like her uh, try was more like to cause as much damage as, pos uh, as, po as possible. I think it mm. was like not really a big chance here to clutch the round. In the end, time was like really running out, and uh, yeah, she was like pretty much surrounded. But uh, actually, they caused a lot of damage. I mean, they lost a lot of rifles. They have to reinvest. For sure. Which is, uh, I mean, the best they can do right in the situation when they just have pistols. And now end game, they could like fully, fully buy, invest, they even have an op. Yeah. Uh, so I do hope that there's going to come some pressure back because losing another round, is going to be really a big problem on you, especially playing on the city side, losing so many rounds in the beginning. It's going to force them into some like ecos and it's not gonna look pretty so they really this is like one of the especially like one of the key rounds of the city side they need to win this sure. if they want to maintain their bank uh yeah it's uh it's like you know obviously they should have not too much pressure here but mm. uh also like really play it safe if possible and uh lrvr they lrv they had a pretty fast pace so far yeah, so i'm yeah. really curious to see if they're gonna counter strat that or if they're just gonna play it safe and they're actually going for some aggressive push outside as well donate coming through lulu 4k up top with the orb lulitans here's a lot of information around that thankfully her she doesn't remain, or she remains unchecked. And they will get a little bit of space to work with. Down towards secret, Lulu tends to reclaim that space. Does she clear the secret player, though? Tucked the head as of right now. It's all getting on a little bit of a knife's edge. She'll fall away. Back turned. Damage dealt. Three points of HP staying alive. Oh. Sophia doesn't confirm the kill. They're popping over towards Ram as well. Naomi holding and waiting. Spotting one. And we'll find it dropping down as well. Once again, trying to isolate these fights. It looks like things are looking okay for Endgame. The Orp forced away. Yeah, they forced the Orp away. They have some space. I mean, it's it's like really unfortunate to be like on 3 HP, but they still have four players left. It's not the worst situation. They have some utility and time. This is important. And now it's all up to Sofia, and she gets a frag on Luli. But uh, Bunny, with another frag, they're entering a side and actually managed to get another kill. So I think the bump is gonna go down and it's gonna be a 3v2 fast one situation. Looking like it. Didn't work out that well. So Valor is going uh, fast, went down, plant on B. I mean, they had they had A, but uh, yeah, they instantly took space back, pushed them away. And now it's a 1v3. So this is definitely more difficult 2v3 was possible 1v3 mm. is hard so she needs to hit too fast ah, she needed two fast kills but it was yeah. too hard so really, they really already expect yeah they expected her there so this was like really unlucky nothing like not more you can do here uh, honestly Agreed. unless they don't expect you to get maybe like two fast kills on door and then you have like a 1v1 so this there was a possibility but uh, they had the perfect read here and it's a 3 2 now for end game so end game uh, Taking point, which was like very uh, important, just like I said, like they needed this round, uh, mm -hmm. like very, very, uh, like they very need, uh, like needed this a lot. Sorry, for sure. uh, especially like, for the economy, but uh, they lost a few weapons as well, so they have to try to maintain the bank, to keep it full. And uh, LRB, they have like only a pistol round, so uh, I guess they're gonna go for some aggressive, maybe door pop or something. Looks like they're preparing to explode door. Okay. He, she's already ready. One crossed as well. Funny as all. Yeah, she is. A little bit of tag, yeah. I mean, this low buy for LRV. The priority in these sort of rounds, just getting a bomb down. Get a little bit of something to work with. Naomi, very cautious of one already crossing. Bunny Azul just holds down the four, pumps the brakes for a second. Either way, one minute 20 on the clock to work with. No real decision made on them just yet. Bunny Azul spotted out. Naomi, doubling back. We'll find the opener. I mean, the top side, Tartar, for one. Sophia, B, all combining. It's all down to just one. It's a flawless run. A very oh. easy foul round, I'm going to say, by endgame as well. 
This is absolutely flaw, all flawless, no casualties, uh, nothing. They keep all their all their weapons and they even prevented them like from planting the bomb, which is like, yeah, was probably one of their main goals, right? To get the bomb plant mm -hmm. somehow. But uh, now they can reinvest. They're like really low on money. If you can see like they they are like they have to, have to invest almost everything they have for this round. Uh, but they're fully equipped now, so I would be I would be cautious uh, if I was endgame because honestly, their one uh, gun round was pretty good from LRV. Yeah. And uh, they already smoked, managed to smoke outside. They're trying to go towards secret, but there's a huge gap here in between. And Sophia, she has actually the perfect angle. If they actually walk through the smoke or walk by the smoke, she should have an easy entry. But ah, there was an unlucky timing. She just looked away. Hmm. But you have Naomi here waiting for them in secret, perfect position, and she's also moving back, which is perfect, not giving them the opportunity to to get a refrag there. And now it's a 5v4, pretty early in the round, and they have a lot of information where LRV are. B, reclaiming a bit of space in towards main as well. Numbers favoring endgame as well right now. Bit of a tough situation to be in, though. LRV, they're stuck in oh. the open. And Sevilla will find another one. Lulu going to be falling. And one by one, they're just dropping like dominoes right now. They're trying to go towards A. They're trying to go towards the top side. It's a back-to-back -back flawless round for Endgame. Five remain alive as they put a fifth That's round on the dollars. board. It's a brilliant round picked up. And now this is starting to show dominance coming through for Endgame. But this is so heartbreaking because you could see that they hesitated so much because there was a gap um, in between the smokes. So I think uh, like one smoke was missed or missing and uh, this caused them to like, you know, not, not be able to move forward because you could see they tried to go towards secret that actually like good timing. And if there would not be the, like this huge gap, then they would manage to like be secret in time and not get, and not get uh, caught off guard. And then they had like to go back and wait. And then it's like, you know, kind of like, uh, just went around them, then you had a player yeah. garage and secret and everywhere, so they had like really no chance then going back. So this is very heartbreaking because their plan was good and losing around because of missed utility, that's something that really hurts, you know? Okay. And they didn't even get a bomb plan, nothing. But uh, actually, she's, uh, she's on the way to plant the bomb and she got it down, so at least some extra money here. But uh, I don't think that they're gonna win this round, honestly. Yeah, it's asking awesome too much, isn't it? I mean, it's just the pistols. Actually, oh, bit of damage okay. being dealt. I think that. <laughs> yeah, cast the curse coming through, and all's picked up as well. Valula has somehow got an orb, scooped off the body. Sevilla will find Maru. At the very least, numbers go back in very the CT side. This is already looking a bit rough. Running out of ammo in towards the orb. He's all down to one. Bunny Azul just playing time, but time is ticking. And she might potentially board enough time. It's going to be very, very close. But I think end game of just got a sick throw for them gonna be put up on the board lrb all things considered that's not a bad round on her honestly it's way better than i expected so first of all getting the bomb plant down was very very important but that they caused so much damage this is actually huge i mean they just had a few tech nines look at that double kill like there from ramp this was so mm. good and uh, really like have heavy like damage uh, done. So honestly, it was a good round. I would be like satisfied with uh, with that. And now they're like, they can fully invest. Lulu is an, even has a, a an op, so I hope she can get some early entry maybe here. I think she went towards, uh, no, she's actually going towards ramp, but there's another another op waiting for her. So it's gonna be op against op. And with a good flash, she can maybe manage to take Naomi out of this round. We have the mm. first bay jump here, missed shot. It's two entries by V and Sophia. Oh my God, it's already 5v3. What's happened? Endgame right now, just dominance coming through. LRV. Stop between a rock and a hard place. The Tata might make it worse. Great close up angle for Lulu. Will fall. And all he's down into a two versus five. Things look starting to look very, very good for Endgame. Reclaiming a bit of space to back spotted as well. And the all just missed shot. Very close. But information gain. It'll come through as well. Damage dealt on towards Lulu 4k. And Maru has to go reclip the bomb. This is a horrible predicament to be in. Time is ticking. 55 seconds on the clock. And it's all falling apart. Another flawless round could be on the cards here. Tata. Dropping Lulu. Leaving all down to Maru. In a one versus five. Yes, the bomb in hand. Yes, it's 40 seconds to work with. But surely just a toss to oh. top. And V will see it off. Seven to two. This is now starting to look very one-sided. Oh, this is a slaughter and it's like, it's just like slipping out of their hands. They're getting like some space and then all of a sudden they just like 
lose the aim duels and like uh, CG's getting the early entries. So it's uh, kind of like frustrating on LRV, uh, LRV's T side so far. It's really uh, not going that smooth. They have some chances, a uh, few missed opportunities here. They're going for another Tech 9 round, so um, really fast pace. Oh, the action was fast pace, they're just like waiting a bit, actually moving towards outside. I assume they're gonna do some outside smokes and maybe try to go fast secret, get the bomb planted on B. Um, so far, they're like waiting, setting up for some utility. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe they even managed to just like slip through and go towards secret, take some space there, get the bomb. This would be already very good. Maybe even some damage, like the last Tech 9 round they had when they sure. managed to take away two weapons. Utility coming through now. They haven't yet, like you mentioned, Util to work with towards like big flash coming over towards Severe as well. She'll relay that information. It's a oh. huge gap in the smoke, and this could be costly. Hold him down. The spam and nearly getting the second kill towards Lulu. Does get one. Surely oh. should be enough. The orb holding, finding. But Lulu will fall, looking more of an Amy, but won't be able to deliver. Once I'm coming down, but they've already crossed in towards double door. They've got space to work with. One trying to go down. Oh. Body is all up close, dropping Amy. Orb scooped up as well, and Bonnie as all well continues to push forward. Finds me looking for more frags or Sophia, thankfully, into the trade. She herself will be dropped, leaving it all down to one versus two. Time is ticking on that bomb. Oh my god. And it will be seen so up by close. Tata. Insane. It was actually super close by Bonnie as well, and uh, really great round here. Like, they did even more damage than before. They managed to mm. kill three players. And she almost got the clutch. If she would have hit the headshot uh, on the, the fuser, it would be maybe even almost possible. So maybe a bit too much damage taken here. Um, also, like, again, miss, uh, like, uh, miss utility. Like, one smoke was uh, missing or failed. Uh, I can, like, sure. not really see that now. But honestly, it was it played out well in the end for them. They got the plant down and uh, took away three weapons, which is huge, huge damage. But they do need to win a round. It's, like, it's, they're not going to win by just making it close. They have to take some rounds away from them. They need some T-rounds, even though this is a C-decided map. They still need a few rounds. And so far, it's not looking good for them. Uh, already agreed. Use some utility here. They have a player here towards red, but uh, that's pretty much it. They're gonna they're playing it safe this round, trying to wait, maybe see what the setups are on the CT side here. And now they're already four players outside, going yeah. for another outside go. And I hope the smokes are good this time. That Sofia doesn't have like a huge gap to on. play with. This is good now. Now they have a chance. Okay. They should go fast or secret. Spamming through as well. Damage down towards two players there by Sophia. But they have made the cross down towards secret. Bomb in tow. All five remaining alive. Much better position to be in at the very least. Bunny is all waiting for the rotate. Catching it. But Tarto is a fight. Numbers go in favor of endgame. And now things are starting to look all right. Amy. Holding, waiting, or post it up. Nice shot, but does get dropped out by Lulu 4K. Now they can get a bomb down over towards that B side. They need to get a drop, though. It's still stuck in towards window. LRV have the space. Sophia in for the flank as well. Is being held by the orb. Little does she know. She'll fall off the angle. That could be space claimed, but Sophia goes the other way. And it's going to be such a hard retake because they actually took some good positions, but she gets the early frag, wow. Sophia, with the, with the fast frag on the retake here. And Maru loses the aim duel. Now it's only Lulu. They actually had good positions, but uh, everything fell apart all of a sudden. Yeah. And now, and now it's going to be... A it's a tough one before, isn't it? I mean, oh, yeah, what do you do? Can't stay alive. It's the question. Oh, oh. That, was, that was close. Damn. That is very close. Actually, very fortunate as well to stay alive there. The orb, it's so expensive, of course. And for the T-side, they were currently struggling to, to, to put rounds on the board and to, to find kind of money off the back of that. Yes, they got wow. last bonus. Yes, they got bomb plant money. But they're not getting not all too enough. many kills. Things are starting to look a little bit rough. That orb needed to be saved. Thankfully, with a bomb plant, they can actually buy around it. We see end game up to nine rounds here. Seven round lead. And the first attack pause used by LRV at the moment. Things are looking too good. Endgame on a real hot streak right now. Uh, it's so hard because like they have like the chances, you know, like they're go they're going, they they're like they manage to like push, uh, get get like space, push into a side, get the bomb plant down, and then they lose like on a four before retake situation. I mean, yeah. obviously, um, 
it's like not impossible to retake 44 on B side in New York. Like it's it's not mm -hmm. that, but just like they were like set up good, and then like they open the door, and you have the player watching towards door, knowing already that there's someone, one of the CTs coming through door, starting to retake, and then just like they lose the aim duels like one by one. Yeah. So this yeah. is like very frustrating because they were like set up well, they had the time on their side, and then they just like lose the aim duels. So like they really have to start causing some damage, getting those kills. Otherwise, it's not gonna be enough to just like get the bomb planted, right? And uh, now we have the next round here. It's 2-9 already in the favor of end game here. Uh, Maro taking already some space towards ramp, got smoked off. We have like the extended long, sm like uh, outside smokes here. And look at Luli, she's moving around the smoke, but Sophia as well, she's actually, actually moving around the smoke. Got a perfect flash and gets an entry on Luli tense. So this was a good play by Ant Game, and this is a play that you can do if you're like leading that much, and wow. they're just like abusing it right now. Nice couple of, well, nice shot there to open things up. Maru dropping down, already the numbers starting to, oh, a little bit flat, maybe it's with the back sight. Gotta go good for one there, Lulu, nice shot. Good reaction, bomb will get planted. Only a tap, in fact. Go for a try and go for a little bit more of a secure part. Party for double doors. Numbers were favoring endgame. Now not anymore. Bunny Azul dropping Tartar. Goes back to a three versus three. Sophia needs to go huge for a kill. Where head spotted, but for Lulu, just a tad quicker. The two versus three thing starting to look very good for LRV in a post plant scenario. Finally finding a little bit of success for them yes. as well. Lulu holding, waiting. And finding two. Great round. All things considered. It's only down to V and surely not. Tap on towards the bomb. Doors open. Incoming through. And on four flat. Three remaining alive. LRV will find their first round in quite a while. They are finally some rounds uh, that they won. And this was actually exactly what I'm talking about. They need to like just also win their aim duels. So here they actually had a disadvantage already. Like they were two players down, but they still managed like to get the frags on B and then also like get uh, win the aim duels in the after plan situation, which was very important. This is also one of the reasons why they didn't win the previous round before, even though they were like surviving with four players on the B side. And now finally they're shooting back. So this is exactly what they need. But we're going actually for an aggressive play here by Ant Game. They took so much space outside. They have so much info. They can now call that outside is pretty much clear and that they're gathered probably toward, uh, to, in front of like door ramp so they can give this info through and uh, yeah and game can adapt to it Sophia already got an early entry and we're right. seeing an A explode yeah Maru trying to take a little bit of early contact on the back side good for one looking for two can't quite find it trade's coming through going in favor of LRV They've got space towards the side end game down to two M4 poking the head in, but for Lulu finds the rotator. Wow. It all goes down to Naomi in a one versus three, and this is going to be so, so difficult. Om gets this... planted. She's going to keep out of the AWP, maybe. She might even just save. Yeah, it's better. It's I think nothing she can do with an AWP in a one v three. Agree. And this frag by Valulu, this pretty much ended the round because uh, yes, yeah. if she would have not killed the rotator going towards secret, they maybe would have uh, went for it. But now, like. Getting this kill, this was key. So this kind of like won them the round in the end. Also like the entries uh, again, like going towards the side. So they made a, a small mistake by they, they wanted to try plant the bomb before even like checking behind side. Like they didn't check this, but uh, yeah. they got the trade fast. And then in the end, so they still managed to like get the bomb. So it was a bit uh, like uh, not cautious enough, uh, like not played cautious enough. They have to like really like uh, check and clear everything before mm -hmm. they go for the plant. Otherwise, this can cost you the whole round. And this is so frustrating if you manage Great. to go on a bomb site and then you lose to one player just like killing the planter. So uh, yeah, they have like to really try to avoid this mistake again in the next rounds. But it's really good for them that they got a fourth round. Now it's looking a bit more competitive, right? I mean, yeah. having two rounds is really not enough. Four, you can work with that. If they get a fifth, it's actually really not that bad anymore. If they get a sixth, it's a good health. Yeah, I mean, I normally, when I whenever I cast Newt, I always call it the golden number of six. I think six rounds in its yeah. side is actually pretty decent. Yeah, that's decent. Absolutely. Yeah. At the moment, though, I've got to say, a little bit of a big ask. LRV have really struggled to find consistent rounds on the board. Absolutely. Four at the moment seems all right in terms of how bad things are looking at one point. Leflix nearly getting caught off guard there. Molotov will be dropped. Anyone dropping down will be falling in towards the flames taking damage. That'll be Sound Q's relayed over. She still oh. holds down the four. Sophia, got space to work with Bunny Azul, just kind of poking around, trying to see. 
she individually can make the difference here. Opening kill here could be huge. Both sides, so passive, so slow. But they're expecting a wrap coming through towards heaven. You took come through here towards heart. Heart already waiting. V could be good for the first arm. Spotted. Swing up the back of it. And I'll cost her a life on the top of that as well. Bonnie Azul dropping down. Somehow Sophia comes out on top. Numbers in favor of the CT side. Time starting to tick with 50 seconds on the clock. But they're dropping down towards B. They've had success towards this bottom site before. And they go there once again. Or oh, pop shot. Not quite finding the mark. Already things looking pretty rough here for endgame. This could be a fifth on the board. Flank coming through. Tartar's being held as well. Pop flash has come through at the back of it. Swing on the back. Catching herself though. That makes it awkward. Time is starting to tick. Good swing. We'll find Luli. The one... Brown, I mean, a wrong kill that was really needed to open this up for endgame, but it's all down to the post bot or versus the AK. Lot flicks a bomb, she's below her. Oh, she can't no. quite find her. Good round there for LRV. That was bold, though, to go like down with, with being like scoped in because you cannot really like see. I think going for no scope would have been like uh, maybe like a bit bigger chance, like the hit the shot. But anyway, like, great after plan situation here. Um, I loved how they were, like, you know, so patient and, like, just, like, to catch off, like, the rotators. Sure. Especially, like, when uh, I think it was Sophia trying to go towards heaven and, um, like, just having the patience to wait for, for, for this rotation. And, like, it was, like, pretty much over there. I think uh, it's, it's one of the best rounds I've seen from them so far. So this was uh, very, very good and uh, way better than the previous rounds. Also looked a bit less chaotic, so I think like True. they're kind of like finding their groove right now. And actually, they if they get one more round, it's a pretty decent half. I mean, they they made a good comeback. Yeah, I really do. I have to agree, especially considering as well for Endgame, the buys are a little bit shaky. You got a Famas coming through, an MP9, but most importantly, pretty limited utility. Retake utility is going to be pretty thin for Endgame coming mm, through. That's true. Once again, LRV looking towards outside of it, a lot of space. And a lot of success crossing down towards Secret. Naomi holding and waiting, looking towards Silo. No one shows face as Naomi just going to tuck her head. This could be huge. She could line up a good oh couple of God. kills here. They're walking into danger. Who comes on the top? Could be Naomi the first. Quick trade coming through from Lulu. And now once again, space down towards B. But Endgame, a long rotation for them. It's all down to LaFlix. It's really keep them at bay. Hold them off. Five with time as possible. Damage on towards two, but no kill found. The numbers go in favor of LRV. So much damage. She almost managed to get a double kill here. This would have been so huge. This could have like uh, literally win them the round, just like this two kills. But they still are low HP, so there's a great chance here for end game. Bomb already down. 3v4 retake situation. Bunny Azul already down, and it's a 3v3 right now. We have Tata moving towards the B side and getting the kill on Valu, so Valulu. So now it's actually a 2v3. They're trying to smoke and just like kit. Mm -hmm. Old oh, into the fuse and the Molotov. Finding Lulu. Gonna get through. Yeah, yeah, she got time for Beautiful. it. Beautiful. At the half 10 5. I gotta say, Donna, it was getting a little bit shaky, looking like potentially um, LRV were gonna find a little bit of form there. I don't think that's too bad. All things the end game have done really well. We're gonna throw this one to a quick break when we are back. Second half on the way. Now, I'll tell you, 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 I'll tell you
Very so deep in your excrete. New attack, tech, that nigga hand jeep. I've been mute, mute, I've been discreet. I'm not a sad, I'm the other, I'm not in these streets. She could bug job, she could bug job, she could bug job. Don't miss she could all mail. She could bug job, she could bug job, she could bug job. I'm not sad, I'm not mail. Come on, come on, come on, come on, hit you and gun. Dead to me, R.I.P. buried. Moody Diddy Moya on the side, you had a meeting. Dead to me, R.I.P. buried. Moody Coco Coco is sick, you're bouncing, had a pity. Come back. Not about half. 10 to 5. But, of course, it's now moving on towards the CT side. I think for LRV, we're asking questions. Whether that was, you know, a slow start, a quiet start, and now they're finding form, or whether we're going to see them uh, fall flat to endgame and then go in towards endgame's map pick with potentially quite a lot of pressure. Uh, honestly, I think they could have gotten more rounds, but uh, they messed up a bit, so I would still not uh, put it down. Fastest Ooh. round with a duel in Guan Yuzu and Valulu CS yes, getting the early entries very fast. Now it's only Naimi. So pretty strong pistol already by LRV. They can turn everything around, winning the pistol and anti after. So nothing is nothing is lost yet. I honestly think they also like just like to talk about like the previous uh, half. They could have gotten maybe like two rounds more even there were like definitely like some chances but it's just like you know didn't go that well for them so this can happen but they can turn everything around uh just like by winning the pistol and the round after and getting some money really smooth pistol here only one casualty only valulu lost her life that's pretty much mm -hmm. it great great setup here also on the ramp by them i mean like the double setup and now it's the six to ten i uh do I do assume that they're gonna go get a seventh now as well. All depending yeah. obviously what endgame is planning, but I mean they don't have that much money right now. They don't have a lot to work with. So they're just like saving their money. And uh, yeah, looks uh, looks interesting. This could actually become a close match. I agree. Of course, it's just gonna be the low buy. The clock coming out for endgame. They're gonna looking like they're going to flood over towards ramp. We already saw this the other way around. LRV. Good opportunity for that seven pop flash coming through as well for Lulu. Oh, he's gonna drop Molotov. Does he want to take first contact there? Just gonna completely give up ramp control over, and that's allowing them to wrap through. Lulu, one, two, looking for three. Quick trade coming out from Tartar. That P250, the one upgrade left in play. Now, of course, M4A1S picked up. Potentially, Endgame could be on for a little bit of a, an upset or maybe even just making this expensive. Tata still trying to take a fight here. Bomb dropped on towards the A side. And surely that it all she wrote. Four remaining alive. Only the one casualty. Not too bad for LRV. A seventh round collected. But of course, now a full buy for Endgame. That was very smooth. And now, yeah, we have the first buy. So uh, I I think now it's uh, it's going to get interesting. But LRV, it's very important that they won this round. I mean, they managed to like save some money as well. So even losing this round, they could buy next as well. I mean, not maybe completely like Bunny as well, only $100 right now, but uh, still it's not, it's not that bad. So 
I do hope that LRV, even though I'm rooting for Endgame here because I picked them to win, are gonna win this round just to make it close, just to make it interesting, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. And of course, this is generally regarded as well for LRV as, as a bonus round. If they're able to convert a bonus round against the full buy, it would be huge, massive swing of momentum. Flash towards our side. Bonnie and Zool straight into danger. Bye. Really waiting for that. Pop flash towards the side. Will catch the flicks, but of course, towards top main. Not really in too much danger. They know they've lost outside control, so Lulu will just drop the smoke. And everything goes a little bit quiet. Endgame just going to pump the brakes a little bit. Numbers in their favor. Things go a little bit quiet. We've got one minute five on the clock to work with. But Lulu going to retake a bit of that space into danger, though, because of fear ready and waiting. There's a kill, and that's ramp cracked wide open. But little do they know, a lobby crunch has come forward. Naomi has to be the one to make a difference. One barrel was spotted. Nice kill as well on towards Lulu. Ten. Looking for more. Oh. And Naomi's got a huge double kill coming through from her. It's a flawless round for Endgame, and they are right back in control. That was beautiful by Naomi. Also, like, very smooth round overall by Endgame. I mean, they didn't even sweat a bit. It just looked so easy for them. They got the 11th round here, and uh, yeah, very unfortunate for for the other team, though, because uh, it's going to cost them a lot of money. I mean, they re here a bit too much, but in the end, also, like, just look, Naomi, with the last two kills, this was already over when she got those. And now they fully reinvested again, but only a pistol on Bunny Azul. Ah, tough round. They also don't have like really a lot of utility on Bunny Azul and Lulu 4K. So this is going to be a tough round, but they're actually aggress uh, making some aggression towards Ramp, trying to get as much information as possible. So now they can already call that this is clear and that they're probably going to move towards outside. It's important that Lulu 4K doesn't move further otherwise they could just like go back towards ramp and now they have like the full focus here towards outside assuming that they're trying to go maybe towards secret or something lulu here just like holding waiting if there's maybe some lurk coming through and now they have to start rotating towards maybe b i mean uh, they could still all obviously finish on a if they go to uh, from main or something and Ooh. sophia this was so important great timing and does she get the second kill? She doesn't because Luli Tans, she wins the duel, but very low, very low HP here also on yeah. 4K. Big lobby crunch coming through as well, right? I mean, it's all well and good. Bringing the numbers back level. Hang on a second. Lulu's falling to the flames. Low HP and the Molly will take her down. Tartar. Free kill. They can be dropped over. Looking to try and go a little bit more damage. Potentially LRV. They might be tempted to save here, and it's looking like they're setting up for exactly that. They're going to give up the round to Endgame. You know, we're going oh, to see the T side up to 12. Yeah, this is now starting to look a little bit rough. Just to mention as well, Don, I mean, the other scores on the other stream, Furia took down W7M Esports 16 to 5 map 1. So, wow. very one sided over there. Furia still just so dominant. They're so good. I mean, uh, I I was actually casting like the last year match, and we were not sure how they're gonna perform without Olga, without the, like their star player literally being gone. But they're still so good. They're just like it's like you know nothing really changed, and it's, like great performance. Also like uh, last time by Khan and Gabs, I'm pretty sure that they're mm -hmm. playing great as well right now. So yeah, I think you're definitely one of the favorites. But Endgame not looking that bad as well. Very true, very true. We said this is going to be a very interesting game. Of course, uh, both of these two teams came through the open calls. Endgame came through the first open calls. LRV came through the second open calls. LRV actually ended up finishing third overall, not making it in the uh, in the first open call because they lost to W7M Esports. So you can already start to slowly see where the, uh, where the hierarchy uh, lies in terms of power rankings of these teams mm -hmm. as of right now, especially the other teams that we don't have as much information on or somewhat newly formed, Naomi. Now holding in towards Lobby. Lobby crunch has been very common for LRV. And I think Naomi is now already waiting, sort of expecting this. The only thing is, on the other side, it's a 5 7. A very, very good weapon up close. One top headshot potential, even against full armor. Pop flash going to come through. Swing off the back of it, Naomi. Oh. The 5 7 will crack the first. Hard a quick trade, but still the pistol's causing problems. Bomb is going to be dropped in a 3 versus 3, but thankfully, think they claw back. LRV and MP9 doing damage. Even the bomb dropped in the round one in favor of LRV off the back of a mixed buy. They came in with pistols and they're walking away with an eighth. It was like a bit chaotic here uh, with the, like the flash because it was like way too far, too deep. Mm. And if someone is close, then you, yeah, this person is not flash at all. Uh, yeah, it kind of like fell apart from, from this moment that I felt like. And now LRV managed to get us eighth round. 
which was very important. Otherwise, it would have just like been a. Uh, I think like there would have been like very little chance to get back into the game, and now also like they uh, can like start saving some money. So very important for them. Also important that Lulu has the AWP now, and uh, she can cause some really serious damage here already early. Like the outside smokes to be able to walk to a walk to a secret, so they don't really know if someone walks through. You can see Bani Azul trying to spam through the smoke. She doesn't know how, how many players are there, Ooh. and they're pushing ramp as well. Now it's Lulu 4K being pushed back, but there's a huge gap here. Yeah, massive space to work with. Numbers favor LRV. The map control pretty good. Both dropping down ramp. That information, that sound cue would be relayed over. Looking through his own Laflex, he needs to be careful. Maru set up here. It's a free kill. Back turned. Didn't expect to throw it towards stairs. Smoking towards double door. And Amy's in trouble. Vi is behind her. Gonna be able oh. to find a kill of her own. Back turned. Yet another fry going that way. Tap on towards the bomb. Hoping someone swings to the back of it. Still not gonna find too much just yet. Might stick the plant now. In comes on YouTube. Smoking towards window. Amy's still sat close. Hoping that she can alleviate the pressure. Sparling one. Damage dealt both ways. It's messy. But it's looking like this one's going to go in favor of LRV. Is they going to claw back yet another round? Nine on the board for them now. And this comeback is definitely on. Oh, yeah. It looks good for them. It kind of like reminds me of the first half, right? Where they struggled a bit in the beginning, but then mm. like started like catching up towards the end. So maybe we're seeing, some, we're seeing something similar here. Agreed. Uh, great kill here by Mauro, by the way. Very important as well. And so in the end, uh, Luli Tans and Lulu 4K closing it down and getting the last kills to be able to defuse that bomb. And now it's 9 to 12. Maybe like, uh, yeah, it looks way closer now. And they have like a lot of money as well. Money on Endgame, on the other hand, looking a bit more tighter. I mean, they can buy one more time, but otherwise, uh, other, after that, it's, it's going to be uh, difficult. They're gonna have to go for some eco eventually. I mean, now they didn't like fully invest. So they have like two AKs and three pistols, no utility at all. So um, they just kind of try to get like maybe some like dry peaks to just for sure. try to contact. And Bunny Azul, perfect move here, perfect timing. Blue flick. She didn't, she didn't even. She was not aware at all that there, there was like someone speaking there at this moment. And already down on three and a half players, I would say, because Sophia, she's only on 18 yeah. HP, one shot away. Well, there and it is. Down. Yeah. yeah. Oh. The one bullet. <laughs> shot, though. Hang on a second. Okay. I will find one. Lulu 10's going to fall. Now three versus two. They might even be able to get a bomb down here. Holding over towards main. They're expecting someone to wrap towards outside. Right now, not being given up. This one a little bit difficult. 45 seconds on the clock to work with. Pretty tough option. Decision about how they're going to try and get this bomb down. As Valulu waiting in towards heart. The second the bomb goes down, she could make her move. Right now, everyone just parking up. No one really going for anything. They're playing time. So it goes back and slow. <gasps> Navy will fall through it. Luck favors Valulu. I thought I'd defy into a black site. So difficult. Tagging through the smoke as well, which means wrap swarm. It's a wrap. Oh She'll find two. All down to one versus one. Four points of HP is all down to Valulu. They know she's in towards heart. They saw her earlier. She found the kill through the smoke as Vi will tuck herself close. Four points. Looking for the four kill. Oh my god, what Valulu was seeing wow. off. That was too close. Oh my god, this was insane. The double spray they lined up for her. And she almost got the third. I mean, honestly, this was so close. It should have not like this should have never been that close. She mm -hmm. almost touched the round. Would have been great for her, obviously. But in the end. They lost it so closely, but look at that double spray, so beautiful. But Valulu managed to get the last kill. Ah, you see the disappointment in the face. <laughs> this was so close. She was like, ah, almost, you know. It's a good and now, effort. double digits on LRV. Let's yeah. go. Yeah, it's a very close game here. Of course, yep. one side of the fair in the Fury match, a very, very kind of, you know, dominant display put up by Fury. This one, still anybody's game. Utah towards our side. Full bike went out both ways as well. But he's all just gonna take, you know, give up all that space, allow them outside control. Now they already went uh, down outside pretty early in the round, which is great to take a lot of space. So this looks like a decent round. It, it's starting very decent. Let's see how it's gonna play out. True. Sophia, a very important position here. She can like fully punish the rotations if she just like keep if she remains in this position. Would be great if she like hangs around here because she can get she can gather so much information around outside. 
They know for 100% that no one can go secret. And oh, Bunny Azul, she caught her totally off guard. And now they know that the Lurker is down. And Valulu already preparing the B side with wow. Molotov. But, oh, okay. It's falling oh, apart. Oh, they're Donna. winning their duels again. Yeah, it's falling apart now. Bomb will go down. It's again the duels. Just like yeah. on their T side, they're just like losing the duels right now. Actually, great play here, but uh, they like slowed them down and everything. But in the end, they just like lose the aim duels. Now it's like a three v four retake situation on B. Yeah, that's a tough one. It's not easy to win this. I don't even know if they should go for this. Uh, bomb is ticking. Not so much That's time safe. left anymore. Yeah, they're going yeah. to be safe. It's a better call here for sure. They don't have a lot of time to play with. I mean, they do have some utility, but why? Why risk it? Like yeah. they they need the money and they need especially the op. I mean, look at their bank. It's like not looking that great. And they even lost another player on the X uh, from an X strike. Now it's only Lulu and Mamuru left. Oh, she almost got caught of out. Wow. Maru, Maru, I don't know where she's right now. Uh, she went on the other side of the map. But yeah, Lulu, she, she almost got cut off. Yeah, yeah. She, she almost died there. <laughs> so. Exactly. Just good, uh, good kind of response coming through the end game. 13th round of the board for them. They're three rounds ahead of LRV. They're three rounds away from taking LRV's map pick. This is a very strong position for end game to be in. On the yeah. T side of Nuke. It's That's starting, incredible. Yeah, slowly but surely to really lock this one up. It's a very important kind of swing round coming into the round of 24 to both sides. Somewhat, you know, limited economy in some places. Look towards Sophia, only 100 in the bank for her. If this round goes south the end game, she'll struggle to buy and maybe utility might be a little bit thin. But if LRV, if they lose this round, their economy is completely broken. This is a must win round for the CT side and they're already going for once again another lobby crunch coming through. End game. Nobody really testing the waters, but he is going to be holding. Sophia starting through the smoke, not going to find too much. In away her position for the right time being, but trying to catch someone off guard as Vi will swing through. They don't want to be open. If she swings, she can potentially find one Maru. Good first kill. And I'm just going in favor of LRV. Things are starting to look okay, and you can sort of see the T side. They don't really know where to go. Oh no, this is timing. And Valulu gets two frags. This is huge. Round already won. What can what can Lufa yeah. do here? She should just like go for the safe try to survive somehow, but it's like almost a minute left. I don't even know if she's gonna be able to save this up because they're gonna go hunting her. They want to take this up away from her and they're already starting. I'm going to restore, but Lufa actually gets a kill here and uh, yeah, obviously she's not gonna go for it, but she's trying to get some frags here if they try to push her. But they know already where she is, so yeah, she should like just run fast. 25 seconds left. She's actually going back. That's pretty, that's a bold move. I mean, it they is. could be right around the corner, but uh, yeah. She wants some more, she wants some more exit kills here. Almost 10 seconds left. Yeah, this went down pretty fast. Uh, great impact here by Valulu. Really great. And Maru also was like, I think it was the first kill. Yeah. So pretty, pretty huge. I mean, this like three kills, they can, they can win you the round already because they didn't really have anything else uh, to do. No, nothing much left. They like LRV, they took so much space already. There's so much information. There's so much information. And now it's 11 to 13, only two rounds away from being tied. This is looking scary now for NK. Look at this. She yeah. even checked it was Tata. I think she checked her first, but it was like, she like, she did look all the way to the corner, so she thought it was clear. And then mm -hmm. she like walked and ah, oh, this is so frustrating. If you like, if she's gonna rewatch that, she's gonna be so mad at herself. <laughs> <She's> no, like, <laughs> agree. <laughs> Why did I look away? Why did I look away right uh, right away? It's, it was just like a millisecond or something. So yeah, it didn't yeah. full clear. Ah, uh, yeah, that's so frustrating if you don't full clear and then uh, you lose two players because of that. That's like ah, uh, this should have not happened, but it does happen and it did happen and now. It's looking so tight. 11 to 13. We have a full buy on both sides. We have a we have both ops here. So this is going to be a very interesting round. Also a key round here for both teams. You open up Blue Luke. We'll find Karka. Things are looking good for LRV. They're finding form on the CT side. Right now, endgame, they're really struggling. What he mentioned about that previous round being a bit of a swing round for LRV. The same situation over towards endgame. Lose this round and don't get a bomb plant. Money is going to be pretty feeble, pretty frail. Either way, flash towards our side. They have crossed down towards secret end game. Space to work with, despite the numbers not being in their favor. And a two-round deficit. LRV breathing down their necks. 
they have so much space and there's not a lot of rotation happening as well. I mean, they're not quite sure where they are right now. I think they're gonna be able to go to the bomb side. I think only Valulo is close here in ramp. She could like try to like maybe uh, catch one or two players, maybe even the planter. But uh, they're gonna, I think they're gonna have an easy game. It's getting the bomb planted now. They hear the sound cue. Valulu is mollied off, so she can do a lot. She does have an angle here that she can play with, but she missed the shot. So they already have the B side full under control. Gonna go for the plant. And now they just need to take some good after plant positions to win the round. Okay, well, right now they're playing passive. I like this. They're gonna try and use the clock as that fifth ally. They've all, of course, you know, they've lost the numbers advantage. This is going to be a tough one. Big Utal coming through early doors. But Lulu's down to 51. Bit of damage down towards Luli 10s as well. Already could be a little bit dicey. Sphere tucks in towards Kabi. A tough angle to clear. So actually, as the Molotov didn't spread into her direction. They might try and jump onto the bomb as quickly as they can. Numbers. Messy fights coming through. Spray for the smoke. Oh they my haven't gosh, heard it's the bomb. They haven't heard it. And the defuse comes through. They did not hear a tap on doors. The bomb. Donny Azul will find a kill afterwards as well. Yes, two remain alive for Endgame. Oh. But the round goes to LRV. This is heartbreaking. How is this possible? It was a 3v1. After, uh, like three one after one situation and she just like managed to stick it this is so insane i mean you have only only one player fighting here and everyone else was like i don't know what they were doing but this was very very frustrating losing a game like that they were like definitely here and had the advantage and now it's 12 to 13 and look at the money no money left for the next round for end game if they lose this one it's going to be a 14 to 13 for lrv well Lafex holding towards outside. At the moment, nothing really being given up. Deep strokes coming through. A deep Molotov as well towards Seeker to try and make it off. And a tag coming Beautiful through night. as well from Bonnie Azul. We'll catch fight. Jobs are at 29 points of HP. Not exactly the dream way to start the round. Potentially, you could see Endgame play uh, Bogdan's Law. Vi pick up the NRP, swap it over from Laflix at the moment. Not the plan. Speaking of Flix, nearly one connecting. She'll be dropped to 17 points of HP. Only one round in it. At the moment, a lot of space created by Endgame. But they don't really have a clear pathway towards the site. One drop towards that lower site. It's even leaving Sophia lurking. Newly 10. Going to try and reclaim the space. Quick reactions. We'll find her the opening kill. And now, as you can see, they're rotating. They're looking over towards A, it seems. Looks like the A rotation and they already have the pace here going towards A. Lulu missed the first shot and now they can take so much space. But look at Mara, she's here and they're getting three kills right, right after each other. It's like, it's a massacre right now and it's only by left. Nothing she can do here, honestly. I think I would even just try to do some damage. Save the weapon. They don't have a lot of money yet, but I mean, 20 seconds left. They have the bomb, they have everything, they have the full control. It was a bit chaotic towards the end when they went out A. I mean, they had like the good pace. They like managed to go out very fast. Uh, and even they had a chance because Lulu 4K, she missed her first off shot. So this was the chance to just like push the off. But then you had Mari on the Mario on the other side of the A side, just managing, managed to get a kill, another kill. And so, uh, yeah, it just went down from the Ooh. moment. Ah, oh, no. What? Can't stay alive. <laughs> oh, no, stop, but yeah. Uh, Double no stuff is really hard. So, Agreed. something she can do here. I mean, she tried it. She got one more frag, which is obviously good to just like cause some damage. But I do think that they have enough money anyway in the, right now. And they have the upper hand because this is literally what I just said before. If Endgame loses this round, this was a key round for them. They will have no money. It's going to be 14 to 13 full ROV. And this is literally what happened right now. So, um, they are left with a few pistols, nothing else. They're going to have to give away the 14th round to LRV and truly really have to fight with everything they have. They have only two more chances to make it to 15, and they can make no mistakes after Oh no, Balulu. Easy double coming through. Make that triple pistol pulled out, but the Deagle not quite connecting. Thankfully, we'll clean things up. Two to three in terms of numbers staying alive. Maru in for the flank, reclaiming a bit of space. All going a little bit quiet though. Then 4 a has been collected by Sophia. She's found two kills to name, 26 overall. Top fragging in the server. She's been on fire. At the moment, Floor Tide Squid is looking in favor of LR. Big is walking into Maru. They're walking into all the trust. And Naomi will be dropped with three remaining alive. Oh, and round for LRV to reclaim the lead on their map pick. 
properly and comfortably for the first time in a while. This is really now starting to look quite pressure uh, over towards Endgame where they were in control, 10-5 of the half, and it's all sort of fallen away. Yes, this is literally what I just wanted to mention. It was a 10-5 half, and they even managed to get a few rounds, in the, uh, like early, in the, a few early rounds in their T-side, so they had the upper hand for sure. It looked very, looked very bad for LRV, and uh, now they're leading with one point, and it's like so close. Endgame, they really need to win this one. Uh, they're not having, a, they, don't, they don't have a lot of money, so it's going to be LRV's map for sure if they don't uh, win this one, or at least cause a lot of damage, get the bomb plant or something. This would maybe give them a chance, but the money looks so good anyway on LRV side, so uh, most of them can rebuy, reinvest. We have a walk towards outside, and Luflex with the entry on Bunny as well, which was so important, so huge. Naomi actually low HP, only 19 HP left. You have Luli Tensi already setting up. For the push, but she just lets them go through. She will uh -oh. try to step, uh, do a back step probably, and we have Valulu here alone on the B side. That's the bomb, bomb drop. Oh, it's falling apart. Endgame tried to go quick towards B, and it's all starting to crumble now. But it's back into a two versus two. The bomb is dropped at the moment for LRV. They got that information, but it's just a, ca a, qu a case and a question where Endgame are for the time being. Vi and Sophia trying to reclaim a little bit of that space. As we've already mentioned, Sophia has been on fire. He's been a magic from her. Because she's now in a one versus two. This is going to be so difficult. And she will be dropped off by Valulu. 15 to 30. And it's looking like it's going to be LRV taking their map wow. pick. Especially after how things were crumbling. And it was 10 5 of the half. What a turnaround. Oh my God. This is insane. I was like huge props to just like having this strong mentality, you know, to make such a great comeback. And for end gaming, this is just frustrating. Look at this. You can see the frustration, frustration yeah. in their faces. I mean, they actually had the game. They just like needed two more rounds to break their economy to just, like win it easily in actually a dominant way. And now it's 15 to 13. How did that happen? What a crumble. What a crumble. I think for Endgame, this map was in their control. Yeah, it wow. was all looking good for them. 10-5, and since then, we've only seen three rounds. But it just show how CT side of this map is, how difficult the T side is. Maru caught by the flash, but still not clear. Could potentially find the opener. Giving away her position, though, could cost her life. We'll find one. Quick trade coming through. Newly 10s mm -hmm. haven't been cleared yet. She is the willing thing. She's the one to make the difference. Will now be cleared. This is looking better endgame. To get that bomb down. Wow. You know, one versus four. And Valulu, she might actually just save. Oh, my God. What actually happened? You had a, such a good position here by Luli Tense because, like, you know, she has, like, the advantage here for sure if they come out and she already has some, had so much infos, how many there were and uh, where they were, like, coming from. So she knew that they, like, came from door, but she just, like, missed her shot. So, uh, yeah, this is, this is unfortunate. I hope it's not going to break their neck because this is, like, very frustrating, like, being on the 15th round, being so close to win the map, and then you just, like, you know, have even the advantage but just, like, miss the shots. This is frustrating, and I mean, Valulu, she managed to save the op, but uh, they had so many ca so many casualties that they actually not, not they don't have that much money. I mean, you have money on Luli Tans and Lulu 4K, but that's pretty much it. Bunny Azul and uh, Mamoru, Maru, they don't have like a lot of money. So this is kind of like what I, what I mentioned before. They have a chance if they get the bomb planted and cause like a lot of damage. Uh, like they have like uh, now enough money obviously to like buy everything they can and so on the other hand LRV not looking that great one MP on Maru and another MP on Bunny Azul but you still have the AWP on Lulu so I would not underestimate that Maru gonna drop down join a double back sight setup coming through at the moment bit of a weird one the flicks holding do we go towards OT? Last time, of course, in the previous series, New required double OT. It's a question of does this map require it to pull the side. Smoke come down. Bunny Azul will be tested. Only got an MP9 at range as well. Gonna be difficult. Information spotted and nearly costing her a life as well. We'll open the door. She doubles back towards the position. Caught by the nade as well. She's alone, isolated. And Lulu 4K pushed away by the Molly. DC Sarsman look like a very good. Beast I take coming through from Endgame. Everything working in their favor. You two get dropped and the bomb should be planted momentarily. Yeah, they should get the bomb planted on easily. Tata going here for the bomb plant. They're taking already some space here. For its double door. Oh, 
she got she got actually taught her she's caught her off guard this is huge this gives them the entry to go for the retake it's a fight before retake by almost missed her shot but uh now it's a 3v3 it's getting messy trying to bait out the orb shot of flicks won't fall for it all down to one versus two though it has to come down to namey she had her moments of brilliance in a one versus two now time is ticking they've got to get on the bomb it's a ninja defuse and i think they just about got it they got 16 it. 16 to 14 LRV by the skin of their teeth. The finest margins will take their map pick and celebrations all around. Wow, this was insane. Oh my God, I did not see that coming. Especially not after the first half, it was a 10-5. I mean, I, I said it before, like five is okay. It's not that bad. Mm -hmm. Like you can work with that, but like yeah, they looked so confident, so uh, it's insane exactly. what comeback LRB started. And I'm so curious to see what's going to happen on the second match. We're going to be right back after a short...